If you're like me, then you probably like video games. Well, to be fair, I could have probably guessed that since you clicked on a video titled Top 5 Best Video Game Characters, but I digress. Video games are unique in that they allow someone to, instead of just be a passive onlooker, take a part in the action and actually interact with the story. But video games do share some things with movies, books, and shows, and that is that the story is only as good as its characters, which is why I devised this list. Top 5 Best Video Game Characters. Let's roll the intro. Here we go! Master Chief from Halo. Now, if you watch Neutral Zone on a regular basis, then you know how big of fans Dylan and I are. We love Halo, and that's why I had to put Master Chief on this list. I mean, come on, this dude has literally fallen from space at least four times, and still killed at least 50 Covenant after getting up. He single-handedly took down the Covenant capital ship, High Charity, without even breaking a sweat. This dude is so awesome, I truly believe that he eats gun shells and farts out grenades. But, being the ultimate soldier isn't the only reason he's on the list. It's also because, well, he is a very interesting character. I'm serious when I say this character is so good that you never see his face, and you play the early games, he doesn't say all that much. But somehow, you still connect with him. Especially in Halo 4. I'm not joking when I say I got weepy over Master Chief losing Cartana. That's why he's on this list. Four. Revan from Knights of the Old Republic. Now, I gotta admit, I was hesitant putting Revan on this list since a lot of the characterization of him comes from what the player chooses for him, but ultimately, I decided he deserves a spot on the list. Now, let's get to who Revan is. By the way, spoilers for Knights of the Old Republic, if you haven't played this 13 year old game, then you know, just skip ahead in the video, but seriously, 13 year old game and you have not played it. Why? This game is amazing. Do it right now, right after this video. It's like 10 bucks on Steam. Seriously, go and get it. Anyways, in Knights of the Old Republic, you play as a random soldier that gets his beauty sleep interrupted by a war. And after escaping the ship he was on with the help of another soldier, you end up getting stranded on a planet called Taurus. Now, I'm just going to stop there, because I don't want to spend five hours explaining the plot to Knights of the Old Republic, but I will tell you the twist. You're the bad guy. Well, sort of. You used to be the bad guy, but the Jedi did this weird mind trick altering thingamajig with the Force, and you completely forgot who you were, what your name was, and what you did. And really, that's what makes this character so interesting, because throughout the game, you keep hearing all these horrible and evil things that Revan, aka you, aka the former Dark Lord of the Sith, did to the people in the galaxy. What makes it worse is that every single character you rec recruit in the game all have tragic backstories involving Revan killing something they love, or just straight up killing their entire family. And then you come to the realization that that was all you. It's just a really interesting way to make a character, and that's why Revan is on this list. Also, just look at the way this guy dresses. If that doesn't scream awesome character, then I don't know what does. Because seriously, look at that. He's got a mask and a cape. That's awesome. I want that. I want all of that. Three. Adam Jensen from Deus Ex Human Revolution. Now, before you say anything, no, I've never played the original Deus Ex. It's not that I don't want to, it's just that I've never really gotten a chance to play it. But I have played Deus Ex Human Revolution, and I gotta say, Adam I never asked for this. Jensen is actually a pretty good character. I mean, it is kind of refreshing to have a character that, after losing his wife, doesn't act like a whiny emo about it. I mean, he's pained by the loss, but he isn't like, my life can't go on without her. Also, his hang-ups with being made a cyborg are legitimate. I wouldn't want to be forcibly made a cyborg either. And that's why he's on this list. Two.
Solid Snake from the Metal Gear series. Now, I have to be completely honest with you guys, the only Metal Gear game I have ever played is Phantom Pains. But that doesn't mean I don't know about Solid Snake. I mean, I'll be surprised if anyone doesn't know about Solid Snake. I mean, you can't even type in Snake in a Google image search without Solid Snake slithering in. Heh, <laughs> see what I did there? Get it? Because his name is Snake. God, I can't believe I actually wrote that. That is, that is truly embarrassing. Anyways, on the video. What Solid Snake is, is he's a clone of the world's greatest soldier ever, Big Boss. Snake is that one unique character in video games that doesn't think he's doing the right thing. He frequently says, at least in the first game, how he's just a soldier doing his job, which is actually pretty cool. Now I would sit here and explain more reasons why he's number two, but I think it's better if someone who has actually played most of the games were here to explain why. I simply just think he's a cool character and I realize how much of an impact he has on the gaming culture. That's why Snake's on this list. One. I'm coming. <clears throat> Joel from The Last of Us. I debated this first spot for a long time. I didn't know who to put down as the number one spot on this list. But I ultimately decided to put down Joel. Now if any of you have played The Last of Us, then you know why Joel is the best character. Joel is probably the most human character on this list. All the other people on this list have special powers or they have special skills, but Joel is just a dude trying to survive in an incredibly harsh world. I want to say so much, but I can't, because The Last of Us is a game that deserves to be played and experienced. But what I do want to say is that Joel probably has the best character, I guess you would call it, transition. At first he's a cold hearted criminal that only looks out for himself, but towards the end he starts to care for more. And that's why he's on this list. Hey guys! How's it going? This is uh, Joseph from Neutral Zone, and uh, this was my first top 5 video. And, well, I wouldn't say it was my first scripted video, but this is the first time I've ever, you know, put time and effort into a script. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but it's going to be probably longer than my other scripted videos. But I was so excited for this one because, well, now my other show that's scripted is a trivia show called, uh... Crap, I actually forgot what it was called. I haven't done one in a while, but it it's fun, but trivia isn't as interesting as top fives. It doesn't show my opinion as top fives, because it's trivia. It's showing facts. With top fives, it can show my opinion, which I really like telling people about my opinion. So, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed this first part. Also, uh, glad you stayed towards the end, because the end... I'm going to be showing you some bloopers from this recording, because it took it took a lot of tries to get all this right, because if you haven't noticed yet, I kind of have sort of, I guess you call it a speech impediment. And uh, yeah, so, here are the bloopers, and also, remember, before I go, like this video, share it with your friends, also, if you, like, you want to see more from us, just hit that subscribe button. Anyways. This is Joseph signing out. Here's some bloopers.